Today I'm working on block number 8 of the Riley Blake Designs 2022 block challenge. This block is called Garden Charm and it's designed by Fran Golick. Garden Charm is a pretty straightforward strip piecing block, but I'm not going to go easy on myself today. <laughs> I'm going to make this block needlessly complicated. I've got all my strips cut, but instead of doing a simple square for the center, I'm going to use some small crumb scraps and make a square that looks a little something like this. I'm going to do some freezer paper foundation paper piecing for this um, panel or whatever unit right here. And then I'm going to use my scraps and just go wild in these two panels here. If you want to see what I end up with, you're going to have to stick around because I'm not going to show you until it's time to put the whole block together. Okay, to begin, I'm going to set my D rectangles aside and I'm going to piece together my A and C strips and my B and E strips. And that's it. <laughs> okay, that was super easy. It just took me a couple minutes. Now I just have to subcut these strip sets. And I've got a little scrap left over. So I have four CA units and four EB units. For now, I can set these ones aside and move on. Okay, I have my EB units laid out like they will be um, laid out in the final block, and I'm going to take my D units and add them to the top of these ones and the bottom of these ones. Doing it this way might be like a little extra fussy because um, the only difference is if I did all of them this way, then the seams are just going to... Um, they won't mirror each other, which I don't think is a big deal, but why not do it <laughs> the way that the pattern says? Okay, I've got my four side units and my four corner units, and I um, pieced my center square off camera, and I'm ready to put it all together. Okay, for quick reference, this is what my block would have looked like if I went with just a solid square. And this is what it looks like with the tiny little Frankenstein block I made. It's overly complicated and so busy, but I really like it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together off camera and I'll see you again soon for the final block. Block number eight is officially done and I did completely overcomplicate this one. Um, it was a really fun process though, so I would definitely do it again. No regrets on that. Also, we are officially halfway through this quilt along. I can't believe it. Um, just eight more to go, and I'm so excited to see what we're going to do next. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you again real soon.